On August 1st, 2001, professional football player Corey Stringer passed away due to complications from a heat stroke. This tragic loss was preventable and impacted how coaches and athletes approach hydration at all levels of sports. Dehydration in and of itself is the loss of free water from the body system. It occurs in the summer months when the weather is hot. So the first thing you need to look at is the weather. You have to know what the weather is going to be like. Back in the day, it was tough. I mean, to get a water break, you was happy, you know. Now it's been a complete transformation. Back then, you know, it was, you have that old um, coach type mentality where um, you didn't get water until you, basically it was a scheduled break where they felt that you were deserving of it. Water was portrayed as a weakness, so if somebody needed a water break every hour on a hot day, they were, you know, weak or, you know, somehow inferior. Um, yeah, that's, we've gone away from that completely. Probably the most important uh, of all instructions given to players uh, is hydration. We are constantly telling our kids and preaching hydration. Coaches are a much better trained to deal with or to look for signs and problems of you know dehydration or heat stroke and things like that. In the NFL level, you got big guys. You got guys 300 to 350 pound offensive linemen, and, and you know their body their body could heat heat up rapidly and very quickly. The science has progressed, and you know unfortunate uh, dehydration illnesses and deaths have occurred. We've learned you know how important it is to hydrate regularly. Basically, this is it boils down to. Um, proper eating, uh, proper hydration. Eat good, eat solid food, you know, Gatorade also has electrolytes, so if you're a Gatorade person. Um, like the saying, if you're, if you're drinking water when you're thirsty, it's already too late. Um, so you gotta start preparing days before. That's why there's standards now, you know, um, which are regulated in athletic activities, especially you know, high school football and things that take place during the hottest months of the year, where water has to be given at a certain interval and you know do some research look at what's best for your body um, do i need to eat more vegetables uh, you know can i be drinking coffee and that's tons of coffee before i go out and play or practice those aren't probably the best things to do so you know get the water and you water is always good and you know you need to take fruit and breaks let your coach know hey i'm thirsty or you know i'm not feeling well um, and just uh, seek out the proper attention don't try to be a a hero because your teammates might think, oh man, he had to stop because he got a little overheated. It was a crying shame to have that happen to him. The medical staff looks back on it, they're probably something that they could have caught. And you wonder why that happened uh, the, when he entered that heat exhaustion stage uh, in the professional realm of football. You, you wouldn't think that that would happen in the pros. Probably one of the toughest weeks, a um, couple weeks of my life. What was not known was that um, he was actually in real mortal peril. Corey ended up getting so sick that he had to be taken to the hospital. Um, the offensive line coach Mike Tice gives me a call and he just informs me that Corey is in pretty bad shape. His organs had, had broken down to the point where there was no coming back. His temperature, you know, was extremely high. They couldn't bring those, those temperatures down. So even if he had survived, he would have been a different person. His, his football career would have been over and that would have been the least of his concerns. The offensive line coach was like, you know, he's gone. And I was just, I mean, I was shocked. My aunt and my cousin came and knocked on my door to tell me that he had passed away. It was tough, I mean, to do something, to basically die doing something you love, I mean, it's, I think it's terrible. I think everybody became a lot more conscientious about hydration safety. I don't think it only changed the NFL, it changed college sports, little league sports. You know, you think about those things, so it makes you, um, put into perspective the good things and the bad things that you have in your life and pretty much never take anyone for granted. Your family has this loss, this sacrifice, and you want it to be for something. 